friends! In today's video, I'm going to be sharing an embossing folder technique using our ink pads. This isn't a new technique, it's been around for years, but I know there's going to be some of you who have never seen this before, and it's just one of those techniques that just never really grows old. It's so much fun, and it creates beautiful backgrounds for your cards. So, let's get stamping. To make this card, I'm going to be using the Seashells 3D Embossing Folder. This is on page 41 of our new mini catalog, and this is part of the beautiful Sand and Sea uh, suite. And this is such a gorgeous embossing folder with all the shells and it is so much fun. So when you feel your folder, you're going to have a flat side where the images are indented and then you're going to have the raised side. So if you've been following me for a while, you know I like to refer to the raised side as the bumps on bottom. Generally, that's how I remember how I want my paper to go into the folder with the bumps on the bottom because that's the part that's going to be raised. But what I'm going to be doing for this technique is adding ink to the smoother side where the images are indented. So I'm going to start with my Seaside Spray ink pad and I'm just going to tap it right on top, kind of covering the whole image. Then I'm going to take my Rococo Rose and I'm just going to tap it kind of where the shells are, just randomly here and there. And then my third color is Old Olive. And I'm going to tap this onto um, the corners, kind of where the greenery is. Now I'm taking our Stampin' Spritzer, which just has water in it, and I'm going to lightly mist this embossing folder so that all those colors blend into each other. And I have a piece of basic white cardstock, and this measures four and a quarter by five and a half, and I will trim it down afterwards for my card. So I'm just putting that right on top. And now I'm gonna run this through my die cutting and embossing machine. Okay, so I have my platform, and then I'm going to put my embossing folder down, and then just the gray number four plate. I don't need any other plates, just because it's such a thick folder, and then I'm just going to run it through. Now I have all those beautiful colors on my piece of cardstock with those shells and all the images raised. So I'm going to set that aside to dry and then take an old rag and I'm just going to wipe this embossing folder clean. Now if you wanted to, you can definitely take your heat tool and heat this up to speed up the drying process. Okay, so now I'm bringing in a piece of basic black cardstock and I'm going to cut it down at the five and a half mark and score it at four and a quarter. So that's my card base. And now I'm simply gonna take my stamp and seal and put it on the back of this piece. Right on the front of my card. So there's not a whole lot of stamping to this because this embossing folder does all the artwork for me. But I do need to add a sentiment. Okay, so I have brought in my Stamparatus and the stamp set that I'm going to be sharing with you for this card is new. It is called Many Messages and it has all these beautiful sentiments and all these different fonts. So what I'm going to do is take my black cardstock, put it inside and I'm just going to position this right on top, whoops, that way. And pick it up with my plate, so I'm just pushing down. And I'll grab my, grab my magnet, put that down. So I'm taking my embossing buddy. Now Stampin' Up! doesn't sell these anymore, but you can get these online. Um, but this removes any static off the cardstock so that you don't get embossing powder where you don't want it. And because I'm embossing, I'm going to take my Versamark ink pad and just completely cover this one big stamp. OK, 
Okay. Stamp it down. And now I'm taking my white embossing powder and I'm going to sprinkle this over uh, all those sentiments. Now that I have all my powder on here, I'm just going to set this with my heat tool. So all I've done is I've lined up the die. Look at that. The die lines up on all those images absolutely perfectly. And I've run it through my die cutting machine. So I'm going to remove it now. Oops. i got a couple sticking in here have all these fabulous uh, sentiments to put on my card. So I'm going to bring the card back in and I can just play around and see which one I want to use. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this one. Just a card to say hello. So I'm going to take a Stampin' Dimensional or two. actually gonna put that right in the center of my card next we have these beautiful new opal rounds I'm gonna put some of those on here as well just kind of randomly these are so beautiful love these A glue dot and just kind of roll it up with my take your pick tool and I'm just gonna put that right about here so it's kind of center with the sentiment and some linen thread I'm just gonna wrap this right around and I'm gonna use that glue dot kind of as um, a third finger just to hold this down so I can tie this into a bow Oops. So I'm just going to push that right into the glue dot and then tie my bow. Here's the coordinating stamp set that goes with this. And I want to stamp the inside of my card. So this is just standard computer paper and I have cut this to measure four by five and a quarter. And I like to stamp the inside of my cards uh, first. That way, if I make a mistake, it's not already adhered inside the card. So this is actually a two-step stamp set. So you can see that you would stamp the outline here, and then this one would go on next. But this is also a great little background stamp. So I'll show you the one I'm using. I'm using this right here. But these two-step images make great backgrounds. I'm just going to put that on my block. And I take the Rococo Rose. And I'm going to stamp off because I don't want this to be full strength ink. And I also find when I'm working with photopolymer that having our piercing mat underneath makes a really big difference. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp this right on like so. Now I'm taking Seaside Spray and I'm going to stamp my sand dollar right on top of that. And now I'm taking the sentiment, you are unique and completely amazing. I mean, who wouldn't love to get a card with a beautiful sentiment like that out of the blue for no reason? It's not their birthday. It's just because you're thinking of them and you want them to know how unique and amazing they are. I think that's pretty special. So I'm going to bring this card back in and my stamp and seal. You can put more adhesive on this piece. I tend to just always put it on the top, but you could put it on the top and bottom, whatever you like. And then there is that card finished and beautiful. I'm going to show you another one that I made exactly the same way, except I used the sentiment, I'm so happy I found you. And then on the inside, love you to the beach and back. So this would be a cute little Valentine's card. Um, 
which is very different. Normally you would have your hearts and everything for Valentine's, but I think this is really, really beautiful. The other thing I did to this card is I spritzed on some champagne shimmer mist. So there's some beautiful sparkle to that as well. Now I'm going to show you some different ones. This one I used the Celebration Approaching Perfection stamp set and a circle die. The designer series paper is from the Fine Art Floral and then the background, the background is made using the Old World Paper 3D embossing folder and the colors I used were Bumblebee, Rococo Rose and Calypso Coral. And that's how that came out and then the inside I just have the happy birthday. So this one was fun to make. I used Rococo Rose and Blackberry Bliss on the new Painted Texture 3D embossing folder. And I then took my Versamark ink pad and just swiped it along the edges and lightly brushed it on the top and then embossed it in gold. And the die cut is from the Art Gallery Bundle. Same with the Sentiment. And then this is from the Sweet Silhouettes dies. This one's really cute. This one's going to my guy for Valentine's. Um, so this one I used the Seabed uh, 3D embossing folder. And the colors I used were Old Olive, Pretty Peacock, and Smoky Slate. And, um, and then I used the Well Done stamp set to emboss the sentiment. And then I used my whale punch just to punch out the whales from the coordinating uh, whale of a time designer series paper. Like how fun is that? Especially since we live right on the ocean here in Nova Scotia. Um, I thought this would be a perfect Valentine's card. And those little hearts are actually cut with the die that comes with the many messages bundle. See? Little hearts. So I just took some uh, red cardstock, just a scrap piece, and just laid it underneath and ran it through until I got my three hearts. So we've got stars on here as well so this is such a fun die and then I just pop them on little bits of stamp and dimensionals that I cut up and some linen thread So here's the last card that I made using the inked embossing folder technique and um, I used the tin tile embossing folder with Sahara sand, crumb cake and early espresso and uh, the sentiment on the front and inside of the card is from Beautiful World and then the Celebration Touch of Ink stamp set. And this card is a special one. It's going to my guy's sister because uh, we've been thinking about her. She works in a hospital in Ontario where, uh, of course, they're on lockdown right now with COVID. So, um, yeah, I want to send her a card to let her know we're thinking of her and um, hopefully that puts a smile on her face. So there you go my friends, that is how you can create beautiful backgrounds using ink pads and your embossing folders and I hope you have a lot of fun playing with this at home. And sometimes I receive lots of questions and comments about whether or not a person can case my cards and if you're not sure what case means, uh, it stands for copy and share everything. And yes, by all means, if I ever share anything on my blog or my YouTube, just take it, use it, use the design, copy it the same or you can tweak it. I do these videos and share everything that I share with you so that I can hopefully inspire you and you just go ahead and use these designs however you like. So thank you so much for watching. As you know, I appreciate you. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you enjoyed this video, a little thumbs up would be awesome. Thank you so much, you guys. Have a great day and happy stamping.